Hi folks, I'm Ian Baker, the product specialist with Camping World, and today we're going to review the 2018 RPOD RP180. This is a great lightweight couples model. Let's start off right over here. So one of the things I like that they did in this floor plan is they give you a campsite dinette. You'll see it's a quaint little dinette here, perfect for two people. The table is movable, so if you want to move it out, you can do that. It also drops down into a bed. It has this lever right here, you can pull it out, swings out and around, and then when it drops down, you take the two back cushions, put it on top, and that will create that additional sleeping space. The other thing I like, and one of the things I love about having a campsite dinette, is the fact you generally get a big window here, and for good reason. This is the view that I want. I want to look out at my campsite, see what's going on, not stare out at my neighbors. You have two LED lights right here, so you have great lighting there. And if you take a look right over to this side, you will see your 24 inch TV. So the TV is on a swing arm mount. You can turn it toward the kitchen. You can have it at the dinette, turn it around toward the bed. And basically in a camper this size, uh, that is more than sufficient. Right up above that is your multimedia center. Jensen Electronics for both the uh, the multimedia center here as well as the TV, which I know is not a very uh, well-known brand or people you know, don't think it's very nice, but I'm telling you folks, when it comes to the RV world, it's built specifically for RVs. Manufacturers actually pay more money for Jensen Electronics, which is why you don't see them in a lot. But the great thing about them is they're built to be able to take the uh, temperature changes, the climate changes, as well as the shock from going down the road. So that way they will work season after season. That multimedia center is not just a radio and CD player, it's also a DVD player. So pop a movie in, you can watch it right there on the TV. It does control the speakers in here, and it's also Bluetooth capable. If you take a look right up top here, you have storage going all the way along the top there, which is nice. And if we take a look up at the ceiling real quick, you will see your AC is right here. And folks, for a unit this size, that AC will keep it nice and cool. You'll also notice the LED lights on the ceiling. Then right over here, you have a max air fan. So if you don't want to run the AC or you don't have shore power, you can open some windows up, turn that guy on, and get a nice breeze coming through. Your door, of course, right over here in the back. Uh, they do have a screen on there, which is nice. You can close that off just like so. Right over to the side, though, I do like this. We open this up. Take a look. You have a hanging rod there with some adjustable shelves. Myself, personally, I'd probably remove these shelves so I can use this as like a coat rack to be able to hang my sweatshirts there. But if you have different use for it, by all means, keep the shelves in there. And then directly underneath that are two full extension drawers. Over here to the side is a bathroom. And the thing I love about this floor plan is how large this bathroom is. I mean, take a look. For being, you know, a, a, an R-Pod, this is a great size bathroom right here. And that's a nice thing about it being in the back rather than a side aisle. Right over here, you will see you have a magazine rack. So you can go ahead and stick some magazines in there. Then you have this nice cubby hole over to the side. Take a look at that. You have a net in there so you can store some additional items as well as more right below. You'll also see you have your toilet here. Plenty of legroom. You can see that all the way around. You have storage underneath your sink top vanity here. Electrical outlet as you'd expect. Decent sized countertop there as well with a pretty big bowl. And then right here in the corner is the Neo Angle shower. Now I'll step in here just to give you an idea of height. Uh, this is probably the only drawback. You know, I'm six foot and as you can see, I'm pretty much topping it out. So if you're taller than that, you might struggle to shower in here a little bit. You have the built-in curtain that you can close off. And like any Neo Angle, you know, it's not a, a ton of room in here, but it'll certainly get the job done in a pinch. You'll also see you have uh, shelving right there, and then you have the hand wand here to wash off as well. Now, as you'll see, it is fairly spacious, especially for the size of the travel trailer, and that's because you have a slide-out kitchen right here helping to open this space up. You have the upgraded thermoformed countertops, and you'll notice you have a flush mount sink top cover, as well as a recessed cooktop cover with the glass top. That way, all of this is usable prep space, making what would be a small, a very unusable countertop into the exact opposite. This whole thing is quite usable. When we remove the cover, you'll see the undermount stainless steel sink there with the high rise faucet. And then over to the side, as I mentioned, that's your recessed cooktop. Lift this glass up, kind of doubles as a backsplash, and that will reveal your two burner cooktop there. Taking a quick look underneath, you do have some space underneath the sink. If you have a small trash can, you might be able to put it there. Or if you have some cleaning uh, chemicals, you can probably throw those under there too. 
And no kitchen would be complete without your two drawers. You have two large full extension drawers right there. Perfect for your silverware, uh, you know, your utensils like serving spoons, things like that. Right up top here is an electrical outlet. So, you know, great, perfect natural place for a coffee maker right back here. Go ahead and plug it in. LED light there to brighten up the kitchen. And then up top, you see you have some additional storage space. Right over here to the side, you have this rail coming uh, kind of right along the top here. And I think that's a pretty cool idea because you can fill this with spices. That way they're nice and easy to get at. Convection microwave oven. I really like this in a smaller floor plan like this, in a smaller trailer, because it's space savings. If you just had a standard microwave and you had an oven, you would lose your drawers, which are essential. So here, it's a two for one. You want a microwave? Great, you have it. You want an oven? You have that too. Plus, your convection cooks faster than a conventional, and it's easier to clean. But underneath that is your Dometic fridge, and what you'll see is you have a removable freezer compartment. If you want a freezer, perfect. You can drop this down, there's your freezer. If you don't, you can actually remove this whole compartment, and that will free up some additional refrigerator space. Right below that, look at this. Talk about good utilization of space, I like that. You have a little nut right there, you can throw some items in there, they didn't waste any space at all. Uh, right here, you have a pull-out drawer. So that's underneath that side of the dinette. You also have an electrical outlet down there, by the way, in case you need to plug anything in. And you can see underneath the bed, you have even more storage yet, which in my opinion is a great place to put some clothes. But here is the uh, queen size bed there right along the front, windows on both sides, and some LED lights there to help brighten it up. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a quick look at some of the outside features on the Arpod RP180. Starting off right up front here, you have your 20 pound propane tank with the cover. If you need to access that tank, simply undo the thumb screw, lift up the door, and you are in. Behind that, you have rails here for your battery. And then coming up the front, you have black diamond plating to help to protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll also see right down here, you have a propane quick connect. So that way, if you want to hook up a grill, you can simply plug it in right there and it'll feed off the 20 pound bottle instead of bringing the small little green ones. Then over on the side, you will see a light there in case you're hooking up or disconnecting at night. Another thing about the R-Pod that I like is the construction. So right here, this is actually one piece fiberglass from the front all the way up on the roof and down the back. There's a couple advantages to having that one piece construction. One, you don't have seams going across, so you have less chance for any kind of water penetration because you know, where water tends to come in at is your screw holes and your seams. So no seams, you're not going to get water in that area. Also, because the natural curvature, the water wants to run to the front and back. And again, you don't have the seams there, so less chance to have that water come in. Right over here, you will see your front storage compartment. It is magnetic, which is really nice. The door just stays up like so. And if you take a look in there, it's pretty good storage right there. Right underneath here, you will see you have a location for your sewer hose because this one doesn't have a rear bumper. So you open it up, slide your sewer hose right in there. That way it's not rolling around with everything in your front storage compartment. One of the other things I love about the R-Pod, and it kind of reminds me of going back to the days of growing up with a pop-up, is that right up top here, you can have the Cabana Dome awning. And that's a great feature. You know, Basically, it's a big screen house here you can set up. That way you can keep bugs out and have a really nice camping space. You also have two outside speakers. If you want to listen to music outside, you can certainly do that. Uh, those are controlled by that multimedia center inside. However, that unit is Bluetooth capable. Right outside here, you have a couple electrical outlets there. So if you need to plug anything in, that will be the place to do it. And then right underneath, take a look at those beautiful wheels, folks. Those are aluminum alloy wheels on there. Uh, the great thing about aluminum is that it won't rust on you, so they'll stay looking nice for years to come. And you have nitrogen-filled tires, which in theory should hold that tire pressure for a longer period of time. To get in, it's nice and easy. You have a single folding step here, as well as the foldable grab handle. I like having the folding grab handle. It, you know, it just gives you that much more um, uh, control when entering or exiting the RV. And you also have a friction hinge door. It's also commonly called a stay put door. You know, wherever you put it, that's kind of where it stays. But that'll handle winds up to about 20 miles an hour. That way you don't have a strut or anything you have to worry about either. Right here in the back, you have additional storage. Not only do you have the one in the front, you have this one right here in the back too. Now it's not huge, but it is storage and any storage in an RV is good storage. You'll also see right here, you have solar prep. You know, a lot of times you'll probably take this, it's lightweight. You may take it when you don't have shore power. 
and so having solar may not be a bad idea. All you have to do is buy the portable panels, plug it in right there, and it will trickle charge your battery. Coming along the back here, you have a spare tire. You'll notice that it does have a cover there as well, so hopefully that'll help keep it in good shape. And honestly, folks, hopefully you never have to use it, period. But in the event that you do, it's great knowing it's riding right back here and it's very easy to access. You'll see your 30 amp detachable power cord plugs in right here. Cable and satellite right next door. And this unit does have a black tank flush. So instead of having to take your hose and sticking it down your toilet to wash out your black tank when you're done camping, you take that hose, screw it in right here. The black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash it out for you. Right down underneath is your termination. You'll see both your gray and black valves there. And then if we take a look up here on the slide, you will notice this unit also has an outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Lastly, right up front here are your water connections. If you're looking to fill your water tank, that one will be on top. If you have city water, that will be right down below. All right, folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2018 RPOD RP180. If you're interested in this little travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.